Okay, let's talk iron. So the reason most people like avoid ironite, even though it's very popular, um, some of the beginners might choose ironite. The reason that you probably don't want to use this is because your soil needs to be kind of dialed in for maximum nutrient uptake. So if you have high pH or low pH, um, myself here in North Texas, we have clay soil. Uh, we pretty much all deal with high pH. Um, not many of us are in that 6.0, 6.5 range for optimal uptake. And so you can mess around applying uh, sulfur to lower the pH or um, in other locations, like I think on the East Coast, people use lime a lot. Um, to raise the pH, you can mess around with that. It's a very slow process. Um, and we have articles on that, how to do that on um, the, the BeerBible.com. So uh, feel free to check that out. But the, the reason that you might apply a spray is because it gets absorbed by the leaves. And so what's going on in the soil doesn't really matter at all. So it's not just pH that might cause soil problems too. There's other things that uh, inhibit um, or make uh, root uptake or uh, nutrient uptake through the roots more inefficient. So, um, like I said, it takes a long time to mess around with some of that stuff, soil test stuff. It, it can, some people just say like, screw it, screw the soil test, let me just spray this on um, because it will work. So, um, that's a reason that I would like not recommend ironite. Um, I would recommend a spray. So, um, one spray here is uh, this one from Southern AG. I've used it. Um, it's not too bad. I believe it does stain uh, because... I believe this is the iron that actually stained my my shoes um, because I still have those shoes. It's, it's, every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, man, they're not that old of shoes. Why are they why are they destroyed already? But, um, you know, lesson learned. Uh, and I want to show you guys. So I'm going to go down to the reviews. Um, look at the photos because the photo of this up top is not is not accurate. It's been changed. And so the rate and everything has changed. Uh, this guy explained it well. Uh, one gallon covers sixteen thousand square feet, so for twenty five bucks or whatever it was, um, sixteen thousand square feet, it's not that concentrated. Like you're using um, initially in the top product photo, it tells you to use a whole pint per thousand square feet, but this one it's actually uh, where is it? Four ounces right there, uh, or, or I guess you're doing more than one gallon for. In most of these that you spray, you're putting down like one gallon per thousand square feet. Um, but this is uh, calling for double that, two gallons per 1,000 square feet. So anyways, um, the current instructions are here, but all I wanted to do was pull that kind of value because a lot of people complain about certain things being expensive. They can get like more volume, um, but more volume, you got to be mindful, is, is not always like better because it's diluted. For example, like certainty. Certainty comes in like 1.25 ounces. It's the smallest bottle ever. Um, but you only need like a few granules to, to spray your lawn. Whereas like something like two, four D is like 10 bucks and you get, I don't know, a, a quart or something. I don't know. It's, it's very, very cheap, but you got to use like several ounces. You would use more than the entire bottle of certainty of volume uh, for your, with your two, four D. Um, so sometimes it's best to like look at how far it actually goes, you know, what you actually get out of it, things like that. And, and that's why, you know, when you start doing that, you start realizing, oh, certainty and Celsius aren't actually that expensive. They're just like, massive quantities but even though it's just one ounce it's just like a commercial size quantity um anyways back on track here so this is this is one option very popular option the one the best one is this is feature um and so feature you can only literally get it from iwantfeature.com i am not a sponsor it's just a product that i use um anyone i know that has like an amazing lawn uh, also uses this let me just click into it uh, it's a it's a lot a lot less but it's, it's three pounds um so the volume is a little bit smaller i believe it, yeah next to a gallon jug see i'm i'm originally from canada and so my my uh familiarity with like converting ounces and pounds and, and you know volume like it is sometimes it's not quite there uh, because americans use like fluid ounces and ounces like fluid ounces for volume uh, which is confusing to me um and then like they use the same ounces but it's not fluid for weight uh so anyways but i would say like three pounds is a lot less smaller than, than one one gallon um that i have which might make people like kind of you know want to go with the larger southern ag gallon um but 22.50 so it's like a similar price because you gotta pay shipping it's like ten dollars so it's like 30 32 or 35 dollars something i paid uh for this now 
let's take a look at the analysis in here. Um, so this does have NPK or has N in it. it has an NPK ratio on it, whereas Southern AG does not. Um, the contents are just here. So it has iron and sulfur. And then uh, over here, you got nitrogen, magnesium, sulfur, iron, and manganese. So the cool thing about having nitrogen, of course, is like, it's not gonna be that much. You still wanna do your regular nitrogen application, but it is gonna cause more green up um, because it's it's being sprayed. When you spray nitrogen, you gotta be careful. I don't, I don't encourage doing it, but with this small quantity, it's totally fine. Um, when you spray nitrogen, it's gonna get absorbed a lot quicker than if you're putting down a granule, particularly if you use like a, a granule that's like slow release wrapped in like some sort of poly coat, um, like a Scots brand or something, which I don't recommend, but that's gonna be a lot slower to green up your lawn as opposed to like a, uh, you know, urea or ammonium sulfate, which is still not gonna be as quick as spraying a liquid. So that's one, one benefit or bonus um, is you get some nitrogen out of this, a little bit extra green up. Next up, you get magnesium. Um, magnesium is really important if you have a yellow lawn. And what's so important about talking about a yellow lawn right now is because a lot of people turn to iron when their lawn is yellow. So a yellow lawn, um, let me go to the BermudaBible.com, punch in yellow. Um, there are a few uh, things that cause a yellowing, yellowing grass. And so um, nitrogen deficiency, that one's super easy to diagnose. Just gonna drop some nitrogen as you should be. So if you haven't put any down in the past month and your lawn is green, put some down, straightforward. Iron, you know, these are these are the more like un, unpopular. Uh, well, not necessarily unpopular. They're definitely popular, but they're, this is like the first step. And then these are kind of like start investigating. So over application of potassium, have you put some down recently, like a balanced fertilizer, maybe too much. Uh, maybe you already had some in the soil, now it's too much. Uh, a soil test can diagnose that pretty quick. But then you, you left with these two. And so the nice thing is you can bang these out at, at, together. Right, so if you buy iron, well, you can't if you buy Southern IG. So if you buy this one, like I said, I use it. I still have, so I plan to, I plan to finish it. Um, but it doesn't have any magnesium in it. Uh, whereas this, you know, you can spray this down and kind of just like have uh, peace of mind that like this is all taken care of now. So that's why I recommend Feature. Um, you can only get it from here. Again, not sponsored, uh, not affiliated. I don't get commission. I don't get anything from these guys. Uh, I am literally just a customer. It'd be cool if Feature, if you're listening to this, uh, reach out to me. I'd love to work with you because I am promoting your product. But um, th it's, it's just a solid product. And so back to the, the value of the final thing we need to talk about is just how far it goes. So 24,000 to 48,000 uh, square feet. So 48,000, I believe 4,500 square feet in an acre, I believe. Um, and so back to this. This guy says um, one covers 16,000 square feet. And so for, for a little bit more money, just because of shipping, not because of product costs, um, this is gonna go a lot further, get you a lot better results in the end. Um, and I think it's overall more happy. It's not that popular if you're around the forums and whatnot. If you're in like specialized forums, sure they will recommend it, but if you just Google best iron, you, this is not gonna come up. So anyways, good luck. Any questions, drop in the comments. I will make a video answering your question.